Hey, it's me, Solid Snake, reminding you to subscribe to the first podcast to earn yourself a Kool-Aid Jammer. <laughs> Alright, I'll make that the cold open. <laughs> <All right. laughs> How you doing? Welcome to the podcast. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Yeah, that's Beautiful. <laughs> well, you know, when you're a man that needs no introduction, that's that's how you introduce a podcast. Uh, hello, everybody. Welcome to the first podcast. Uh, today, I'm I'm Amir or Doplex. You can call me whatever as long as you're calling. Uh, I'm joined today by uh, Lars from Sweden. I live in America. This is the first podcast, and this is the second time oh. that we have recorded with the legendary David Axel, a.k.a. Senior Palo, a.k.a. Uno, dos, tres, pendejos. Welcome to the show again, bud. Ooh. Yeah, hey, how you doing? I'm doing just ducky. <laughs> I'm, surprised you, I'm surprised you didn't use the, the other a.k.a. Uh, Palo Conchela. I like that Gucci one. Gucci hair. I, is, is that a swear? Yeah. Is that swearing? No, no, it's not swear. Well, you, you censored it with Coochie, so I think oh, it's okay, fine. Okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> How you doing, man? I mean, this is uh, Lars is your first time or your second time. This is my first time recording with him. So, yeah, uh, but apparently, you guys are pals. Yeah, I mean, we've 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 chatted uh, before. He's uh, he's a great guy, super nice guy. Yeah, um, hey, thank you. We've had some interactions on Twitter. He's uh, he's he's boosted me up with uh, with. You know, just ever loving confidence in the support through a retweet that's that's uh made my pee pee go boing. So I appreciate <laughs> that. Is that a swear, Lars? Can I say that? Your pee pee go boing? Yeah, can I say pee pee go boing? Uh yeah, I think I think uh, yeah, I think we can get away with that. All right. By the okay. way, Palo, um cool. are, are your headphones on? Yep. Okay. Um I think I'm hearing myself a little bit in your audio. Uh no, no, you're not no, I don't know what you're talking about. How about now? <laughs> Okay, test, 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 test. Okay, I think we're good. Okay, there we go. All right. So, uh, wait, so, Palo, how did you find out about Doplex? Well, I saw him on, on Twitter, I'm like, oh, who's this? And I started watching his videos, and I'm like, mm, this is good. This is, this is really good. <laughs> Thank you. Man, that, that is like an insane compliment coming from you, just saying. I, I gotta uh, say, the, the green shirt the green screen shirt it's this it's an amazing gag i love it oh thank you wow man lars i can quit this podcast i got i got the compliment that you always I've, been uh, sought after for so many years <laughs> it's, so. it's the first yeah, compliment that's... i gave you i remember that <laughs> well thank you I, I appreciate that that's uh yeah my, my night is made i think this calls for a song <laughs> That's the song. Okay. Thanks for listening, everybody. Oh, I forgot to ping the server to tell them that we're recording. Oh my god. Oh. Any anything else, Lars? Anything else that you'd, you'd like to to admit? No, I'm good. I'm good. That's my one failing today. I'm okay with that. I I've had a successful day. I'm I, I'm okay. living life. I mean, yeah. <laughs> Halo. Last time we talked, you were discussing that you had some plans, and these plans involved a game. And they also involved another game. And I'm curious if that if, if those plans have evolved since then. Um okay, okay, okay. So one the first one, no. Let's say uh, we were messy, the team was messy. It's like imagine you want to do something but you don't know how. You do it either you do it either way, and the project is tiny, but it gets big for some reason and it's like uh, damn we can't work like this 
So huh, so it's like a biting off more than you can chew type beat. Oh no, it's more like I- Im- imagine this. So it's, it's like a little meal, but it's 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 hard to chew. It's really hard to chew. You you can't get rid of it. It's still there. Oh. So okay. Yes. Yeah, so, so like a tootsie roll. You know what? Yes. Yes, a tootsie. That's that's the best example. It's it's just candy. So the lollipops is normal, but holy shit, it takes a lot of time. Oh. I, I didn't say I didn't say bad word. Don't worry about it. Oh uh, no, I think you're in the clear now. I think I think we could swear now, right, Lars? Can we swear? Fucking a, dude. Oh my god. Fuck. Yes. Holy shit. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Bitch. <laughs> Cunt. What up, fuckers? Welcome to the podcast after dark. You bitches. <laughs> my mom. Let me say it, even though I'm only nine. Yeah. <laughs> I've thought about that in the past, like doing like a like an after dark version of the show where like. We, um, we just cuss more. <laughs> yeah, that's the only egregious just, swear just words. Swear word. <laughs> yeah. Where they don't belong. Yeah. Well, okay. So, you know, like uh, Tootsie Roll problems aside, are, are you enjoying your time as a game developer? Yeah. Hell yeah. Okay. So let, let, me, let me explain. Um, the, the first project, it, w- it is a tiny game, but the, the inside, it's really big. So I decided to make. Let's say a big game, but its inside is tiny. In short, it will be easier to make. It will be easy to learn how to do stuff. It's just more work for me and less work for, uh, let's say, the coder. Mm-hmm. Mm. And I see. So I am there. Right so you're now. talking about kind of like a like a, like a shorter game, but something more dense. N- not exactly. It's short in code, like the inside, but it's big. Uh huh. Like big in I scope, see. like like in terms of like what it constitutes, or yeah. Oh, okay. Can you give us? Uh, can you give us like a? Do you have like a box quote type thing? Like what's 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 the premise? Can you give us that? Twenty twenty. Oh. oh oh oh. So it's just a, it's just a documentary about the year. Uh, it, kinda. It's basically dealing with all the problems that we had. The game is gonna be called What a Horrible Year. <laughs> Why in short? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and I I really like that. Yeah, and it's basically you dealing with the problems, not trying to solve the problems, dealing with the problems. Let's say the coronavirus, you don't shoot people that is not not wearing a mask <laughs> or or trying to stop um how to spread the virus. No, the, the virus is already there. You need to deal with the virus. Yeah. Okay, so, sorry, I, I'm just thinking, <laughs> I, was, I had the thought in my head of, like, it's it's like a zombie-type game, <laughs> but it's people who are just infected with the coronavirus. Yes and no. And you just go to the grocery <laughs> store and you're just killing them. Yeah, <laughs> no, 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 like that. Yes, but hell no, hell no. Yeah. <laughs> it's, um, it's uh, 12 levels. It, each okay, so one for every month. Yeah, each month there's a problem. It's like you know, the first month of the year it was war, then the second one it was the bushfires on Australia, and it goes on and on. I really, really like this concept. It's, it, it's. Uh, I feel like there's no, there's no way to get more immersion out of a video game without having experienced it yourself. And what better type of uh, year than 2020? Where we're all kind of collectively going through the shitstorm. And making a video game about that is primo Andre 3000. Uh-huh. <laughs> when's, when's it coming out? When's, when's it slated to release? I want to play this um, now. We, okay, okay, okay. I don't think we're going to finish it at the end of the year. Okay. So it will be, we are hitting on January. Oh, oh, that's soon. No, oh, because in... W- in like three or four days, we can finish a level. Oh, oh, that's a yeah. pretty good pace. Oh, yeah, that that's why. That is good pace. That's why I said like the ge- the inside of the game. It's really short and simple. For the right. coder, it's gonna be really nice. For me, it's the m- the more the most work, the more work. It's on me because I need to do all the artwork and all that stuff. Right. Yeah, but the game inside it's really simple. How many how many people are working on it alongside you? I guess you can say um, four or five for the moment. Oh, okay, that's that's a solid solid team. 
for a nice nice little indie romp. Yeah, and, and if we can, um, we will upload a, a, the demo on a side, but it, it will only be like the first three levels and that's it. Yeah. Is it coming to like console or is it just PC? I just PC. <laughs> console. Oh. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I feel like, I feel like this, this sounds like something that could be on the Switch. Yeah. But that's just every and game I'm, now. I'm all about like, it. Yeah. Well, yeah, but I mean like, I, I really like this concept and I'm actually really excited for it. And I, I want more. I want, want more people to play it. it. It sounds really good. I'm sold on it. You sold me. Take my fucking money. We can still swear, right, Lars? Yeah. <laughs> there's, there's not just okay. like periods of swearing and periods of cleanliness. Uh, I, was, I, was sure, I wasn't sure if the curse window, I wasn't sure if you, if you uh, yeah, closed good. it. Okay. By the way, the first 10 minutes of my audio are going to sound like shit because my audition crashed 10 minutes in. So, oh uh, my oh fucking no. god. <laughs> yeah. Just one of I'm those sick days, of man. This. Yeah. All right, that's fine. That's okay. So, Halo, my question is, how do you know that your current state of consciousness is real, and how do you know that you're not in some vat in a jar somewhere? Huh? I failed would come. I I need to know that. <laughs> it's, it's homework. No, 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 like like fluids. <laughs> like it uh, it like supports your life, and uh, you're being harvested for your electrical neurons and stuff. How do you know that you're not in that situation? How do you know that this is reality? I don't care. <laughs> I don't care if you this don't is care. reality or not. Yeah, I don't care. I'm just going to keep going. <laughs> Damn, and, and if it is, my imagination is amazing to create this whole world with people <laughs> and a virus. <laughs> <laughs> your mind is just that fucked up that it gave us a new issue every month of this year. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. Hey, that'd be that'd be a good uh, premise of the game. We're just trapped inside of Palo's brain. That would be that'd be a fun game, actually. Yeah, just trying to escape, kind of like a Psychonauts kind of experience. Oh, yeah, yeah. No, so here the, the just kind of go off on that. Let's assume that you found out today that you you're not actually you, and that your real existence is a brain inside a jar. Come, you know, on on some mountaintop or something. Uh, well, how would your perspective change? Be like. Damn, sad. <laughs> now pain, pain. <laughs> now go back to sleep, and that's it. Done. Would you attempt to escape the reality, I, though? No. What can I fucking do? I'm on a jar. <laughs> yeah. Do you have like opposable thumbs? What, what are the logistics? Yeah, yeah. But no, of I'm saying, like, what if, what if the brain itself, like your brain, had arms and legs, and you could leave the, if you could somehow escape the simulation. I'm, I'm imagining that episode of Spongebob. I forget what happened to him, but he was just like a brain. Do you remember that? Wasn't it like Halloween? Spongebob Halloween. Yeah. Sorry, I don't mean to, de- to derail too much, but it's like the one where he's just like a, a, a freaky ass brain. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, yeah, it's, it's the ghost episode. Yeah, yeah, that's it. This right here, I'm sending it in chat. This one. That's that's what I'm imagining. I'm imagining. <laughs> so, like, imagine if that's the real you, and you can escape. Would you attempt to do so? Okay, okay. Here's the first um, question or dilemma in this case. Where am I? Where are you now, or where is your actual brain? Meets? My actual brain. Let's say I wake okay. up. Where am I? If I'm on a facility, will I don't think I will be so. I will have the courage to escape. That would be dumb. They will kill okay. me. So, so it's, it's like, would it make a dif- would it make a difference if it was like a Metal Gear Solid like laboratory or something, or if it, you were like on that. a mountaintop somewhere where like you had to use your survival skills to to make your way through and get back to civilization? Oh, if, if it is a second one, hell yeah. The Shadow Moses Laboratory type beat makes more sense. Yeah. Did, well, none of this makes sense. The, the, all of this is nonsense. <laughs> well, but. I, I'm, I'm talking. I'm saying in comparison because like if he's just in a jar on top of a mountain. What's like? What's supplying him? He's just in that jar. It's filled. What with, if it's what, what if was it's it again? Punch? It's self-sustaining cum. Remember? Oh, it's cum. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, I guess there are proteins. So maybe he could survive. What if the truth was though, Pelo, that you were the last person on Earth? No. What if you were the second to last person on Earth, and you you had to like? Okay, so the situation is that if you can find the last female, you can continue the species. <laughs> Would you still attempt to do so? Would you escape the simulation, walk your brain down to the, the last person, and use your self-sustaining cum? Who's the last female? Who's the last? Mm. I know he didn't ask Question. that, but I'm asking it for him. <laughs> oh, so it doesn't matter which one it is? It can, Let's say... It can be a bad female. Okay. So it can't be like... Okay, okay. 
Uh, Dilplex, who, I'll let you answer that. What? Oh, who, who the last female is? Yeah, yeah, who's the last female in this situation? Uh, 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 Rashida Jones. Oh, okay. I, I don't know who that is, but you know what? You said uh, okay. okay. Uh, I guess uh, it's good. <laughs> <laughs> She's not bad. She was on, uh, she was on The Office. She was on Parks and Recreation. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah. I'll, I'll ask her. You wanna, you wanna, <laughs> you wanna recreate the world? <laughs> <laughs> yeah sure why not <laughs> that must really suck like if you're actually in a, a like a, a end of the world situation and there was like you were one dude and there was one chick and like you just were really weren't attracted to them at all but it was like your duty as a species to to restart things what if she doesn't want it or you don't want it yeah, ex- oh. yeah, exactly. That's the problem. That's the. Oh, I actually that's heard that that's the problem with with pandas right now. Have you guys heard about this? No. What that the pandas are are really big into consent. No, <laughs> no. <laughs> the, the pandas are like they're they're not into sex anymore. Like they're having problems getting them to reproduce because <laughs> they're, they're not just like. Into getting- s- there's a, I'm imagining like a Forbes article. Here's why millennials are killing panda sex. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm not joking. I'm, I hear that this is a problem. Like the like the panda species is gonna die out because they don't want to fuck anymore. Damn. Why? Well, why don't they just do like what they do with like horses? Where they like, I don't know if it's horses, but like you know, like farm animals. So they just like jack them off and then turkey baste it into another. Oh yeah, <laughs> into another one. Yeah. Yeah. Why don't they do that with pandas? I I, I don't know. That's a good question. Well, g- get on the phone. Let them know. All right, the maybe hell we have a job recording this podcast where we could be saving the pandas. Yeah, maybe. Ch- 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 anyway. <laughs> <song>. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> all right. How did we get on this? I, okay. Uh, 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 I think, okay, we were talking about, okay, all right. We were talking about Palo. He was in a jar on top of a mountain or in a lab. What was, well, I think what, we was were, what was your question? What were you asking him? Oh, I was just asking him how he knows he's real. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> we can move on from this if you'd like. <laughs> Step like if, you have, if you have your questions, we can get to them. Okay, yeah. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> All right, so I, I have a question. And uh, cool. don't, you know, uh, you can answer it as truthfully as you want. Um, but if you could grow an extra limb, right, and you, you could put it anywhere on your body, like anywhere, there's no limits, which limb would you grow and where would you put it? <laughs> <laughs> I know what he's gonna pick. <laughs> <laughs> is, 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 it, is it a tongue considered like a slim or not? Uh, sure, uh, why not? Yeah, we'll give it to you. Uh, you know, <laughs> you know that part <laughs> between the asshole and the balls. Like, that would be good. Uh, a, a tongue over there. <laughs> <laughs> just in a constant state of just tasting your own taint water. Oh, why would is you that, want that? Listen, listen. You can lick your balls. Okay. And you can clean your ass. Easy. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I guess you would save a fortune on toilet paper. Exactly. Yeah. I'm okay with that. Like I'm okay with the, the cost of toilet paper at that at that point, so I don't have to lick my own asshole. Right. Okay. Well, let me let me uh, let, let's let's throw a little uh, little wrench in your gears here. Um, Wait, no, 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 because we both we both didn't give our answers. Oh, he said tongue in his no, taint. But- don't we all have to give our own answers for this, though? Oh yeah, but I just uh, just to this specifically, okay. like okay, if if yet that tongue could taste stronger than t- the tongue in your mouth, would you still want that? Oh fuck no, hell no! <laughs> I, I will puke, and I don't know if I will come or shit or just puke normally. I like I don't know. Hell no. Probably all three, if I'm being honest. <laughs> All right, I'll make that the cold open. <laughs> All right, Delflex, which uh, yes. which what would you be, what would be your second limb? Uh, to be honest, I haven't thought about this. Uh, I'd I'd put I, I'd put uh, I, I'd grow another arm. Okay, I'm gonna keep it real easy. I'd grow another arm, and I'd put it where uh your tail would be like okay. if humans had a tail you know that spot yeah so so basically you just be like a weird machamp ah. is what you're saying i it kind of i'd well more like a tripod okay that's not a pokemon but should be I mean, do you do you, do you want to be a tripod <laughs> 
Well, okay, yeah, because think about it, right? You're you're in line at Universal Studios. You know, your 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 walkers are getting sleepy from walking around all day. You're like, man, I could use a good lean, but your hands are full. What what could you possibly do? You can't lean. Well, see, I think you you would look absolutely ridiculous as a person, though. You're just hopping along, like just I'm imagining like the the undulation of the body is like you you skip with your <laughs> like your back arm. Oh well, I I didn't even think I wasn't even thinking about walking. I mean, that's a good. I was talking about leaning, like leaning up oh, against okay. the wall. You know, okay, because you're basically turning yourself into a bike in this situation. <laughs> <It's> growing <laughs> a kickstand. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. But let's say you're going to the bathroom. How are you gonna okay. do it with your arm? Oh, buddy. wait, no, actually, wait, 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 wait. Hold on. No, that works because okay, all right. So you know, like when you wipe your ass, right? You gotta like. It's kind of like a, you know, you got to like kind of lean to the side a little bit to get in there with if you have a, an arm back there, you can just lean forward a little bit, which you're probably already doing. So if anything, I think it would probably make your life a little bit easier. I don't know. Uh, I, I was I was asking about sitting. Oh, wouldn't sitting be complicated in that situation? That's true. Yeah. Hmm. OK, I would grow the arm and then I'd surgically remove it. I'd get rid of it. I don't want it anymore. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I feel like I feel like you guys are sleeping on kind of the obvious answer. Oh, what's what's that, Lars? Go ahead, educate us about extra limbs. I, I know All you. Right. I know you. Uh, you got your bachelor's degree in freakishly fucking radiated limbs. Yeah, that's the one, Doplex. Okay. Yeah. So, I mean, if you're a guy, I mean, to add another one, I feel like is the the right answer. <laughs> like, okay, a- another what? A double dick in it, man. But oh, but where? Yeah. Uh, Where? I don't know. Like, if I feel like either, either kind of like next to it, because because then it's like you could kind of, you could kind of experience that with two people at the same time, or uh, maybe uh, how it's it's next to it. Yeah, you need a little bit more wiggle room. Well, it's just like imagine like there's like there's two women. They're kind of back to back. Or men. Well, maybe or for men. you, but uh, they're, they're <laughs> I, I'm two- just being inclusive. Or men. <laughs> yeah. That's fine. 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 Uh, okay. They're back to back, and they're they're kind of bouncing up and down. Like, I I feel like that could work. I don't know. Or what if it was behind you, so that you, like you could get sandwiched? <laughs> uh, that that you know what I I can yeah that's that's a good one. Yeah, logistically that does make more sense. But but it's <laughs> yeah. the same problem though. How would you sit to shit? <laughs> you would get your dick, your second dick infected. <laughs> infected. Well, yeah, that'd be the one downside. Is you'd smash it every time. Okay, so what if you had like? Okay, so what if you had one on one of your palms? Okay, <laughs> it's the same problem. But how do you clean your ass <laughs> without getting inside? No, you'd no, have you to wear see, gloves. You know, you no, not on both palms. Just on one palm. You'd have one free palm to wipe your butt. Oh. Okay. All right. But why? Why do you? Why are you choosing inconvenient places for such a fragile limb? <laughs> Okay, Doplex, what's a convenient place for your second wiener? Your forearm. Uh, I feel like that's the obvious choice. On your forearm. Think about it. Mm. Okay. You can wear long sleeves. You can wear jackets. You, you, can, you can hide it at all times. Really, the only thing that would possibly endanger it is if you were being chased by a police dog. Wait, so like on your, like your oh. bicep or something? No, your forearm. Like the, right, the, 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 your palm down, your forearm. Right here. Do you hear it? You hear where I'm slapping right there? Yeah. Yeah, where, Wait, so where wouldn't, people wouldn't kill you themselves. be able to see that though? Wouldn't your dick always be out? Well, not if you were long sleeves. Like, let's say you're like, oh, I don't feel like partying tonight. I'm gonna, I'm gonna throw on the hoodie. Oh, oh, there's, oh, you're, you're, you're bringing, you're bringing girls. Okay, but you pull it up. <laughs> and that's, that's how guys talk. I feel like I would be concerned though. Like, if I was a woman and I saw like a guy roll up his sleeve and there was a dick, like, I would, wait, isn't I, that a thing? Did it? What? Yeah, yeah, it is a thing where girls see like your dick showing on the in the pants, and they're like, mm. <laughs> "No, not that." <laughs> oh no! Th- so no, it's talking about a guy with a with a dick on his forearm. Wait, is that? A That's thing? not a thing. <laughs> yeah, I swear I've seen a video of some guy who had a dick on his forearm. It might have been a prosthetic, but it was like one of those like live leak type videos, you know, where it's like a home recording, and the guy's like he's like pressing it up against his hand. He's like, "Yep, this is my dick," but I think it was just a prosthetic. I, I don't know, but I think it was like framed to look like this guy had like a birth defect where his oh. cock grew out of his arm. Oh, here. Here's the right answer. On your forehead. 
Because then you could be like a unicorn. Whatever you get. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I guess that works. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be great. Oh jeez. How would you All hide right. that? Well, I guess you wear a beanie. <laughs> you wouldn't. You just walk around standing oh, just, proud. Oh okay. All right. Okay. <laughs> Someone in the chat says, I'm a magical penis cord. <laughs> penis. <laughs> that's good. Oh, all right. That's really okay. immature. Wow. Yeah, that's all right. I think I think we need to we need to bring this up a couple notches. Okay. Uh, can we still swear? Yes. All right. Fuck. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> all right. I, th- I think we're balanced out again. Okay. All right. Go ahead, go ahead. Moving on. Duplex, conti- you said you had some stuff to bring up. Oh, that, that was it. The that was all of your material. <laughs> yeah, that's all I got. No, I'm just kidding. Really? I got, I got, an- I got, an- I got another question. How okay. long? I'm gonna, I'm gonna read this in a in a question voice. <clears throat> How long until your pelo conchella overtakes us all? I, well, fuck, I don't know. I have no idea. <laughs> I have no idea how to answer that. <laughs> <laughs> You got 10 seconds. Coronavirus time. <laughs> but don't worry, I have it under control. <laughs> you just have a death switch for the world. <laughs> you just flick it at any moment. Like, just waiting. All right, All right well, that was my deep, question, Very deep Lars. question. <laughs> don't play. Uh, that was my question. <clears throat> I, do, I, do have, I do have a more serious one if, if we want to... Uh, Hop off the jokey jokes for a second. Yeah. Um, so let's 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 give people like a little bit of like decent content here. I know they I know they're here for the dick jokes, but right, like, right, okay. Wait, that's give me something to chew on. Give me a second. Fair. I need okay. water. Give me a second. Oh wait, did he leave? You, I think he's taking a drink. Oh, all right. Well, I was saying in the meantime, I can entertain you all with a song. Okay. This one's called Power Pop One. <laughs> Thank you. Anyway, so while we're waiting, let's let's uh let's 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 get into here. Let's talk about the rather atrocious new drop that just happened. Cause I know it's on everyone's mind. Get back. And huh? oh okay. Uh Palo, have you been keeping up with Cyberpunk? <sighs> What's that? I can't tell if he's joking. <laughs> <laughs> I'm joking, I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> I know I was like, do I laugh? <laughs> so <laughs> Duplex, Duplex isn't yes. kind of talking to me in the over the last couple of days about how apparently Cyberpunk is a really good game so far. It, like at, at least it could be, but that it's just being absolutely slaughtered by a, a seriously buggy experience. Like it just doesn't play well. It he's saying he's it's like crashing on him three times every time he sits down to play it. And uh, have, have you have you experienced it yourself, David? Mm, no, to be honest, I I am not one of those guys that buy, um, the 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 popular games really fast because of that main reason. Mm. Exactly. That's yeah, smart. I feel like I was I was talking to Duplex earlier and saying like I think this is one of those games where it's best to get the game of the year version that comes out like a year from now with all the DLC and with all the, like the major bugs fixed and stuff because it's just um I don't feel like it's worth seventy bucks right now. I think it is just because the the game itself is really good and you kind of experience the fixes as they implement them. Um, But right now it feels like a chandelier inside of a haunted house. It's like you can admire the chandelier, but you're in a haunted house, you know? Yeah. Does that make sense? Yeah, I I, I understand that. Yeah. But I mean, aside from the bugs, it's, it's a good time. I like it. Uh, There's uh, what I, so it's, it's, it's not like GTA. You know, I feel like a lot of people were expecting GTA, but it's not GTA. The only thing that, that's similar is that you can get a hooker, and I, I guess you have guns. Um, yeah, but it's like it's I don't know. It's I I'm a, I'm a, I'm a patient gamer myself, and I don't necessarily want to reward a developer for rushing something out. I know I know they kept taking a lot of shit for for delaying it and delaying it, but I'm one of those people who always thinks that delaying a game is usually good, right? And if you're going to delay it, that means that you're going to at least try to focus on improving it. And it just doesn't seem like it was ready. It just seems like they, they kept, they kept having to delay it. And eventually like they cracked under pressure, but this is not a game from what I've seen in all the footage and all the reviews that is, that is deserving of a final release. 
I know. I don't I, know. Like, I haven't. I haven't played it, so it's like I, I am missing that. But yeah. I don't want to. I feel like there's this bias that happens in a lot of games where once you actually sit down and play it, it's like you're willing to forgive it if it's faults to some degree because you're having a fun time. Right. Well, I mean, it's it's like one of those things where like it's been in development for so long, you almost have to kind of like I don't want to say forgive them, but like kind of understand because like they've been working on it for so long, and then you have like people on the internet are just like. Give me my game, please. I pre-ordered this so long ago. Give it to me. And then they finally give it to them. It's like, what is this? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I don't know. I think I, I I think it's I think it'll be fine. Besides, they said they're releasing some new updates in the next few months. So for all you gamers, welcome to the gamer podcast. You'll be all right. I I don't know. He, here's the thing. First of all, they need to stop fucking. Doing sorry messages on Twitter. Oh, sorry, <laughs> this is getting delayed again. We're sorry, delayed again. Sorry, we fucked up. We made a fucky worky. Yeah, they need to stop that. <laughs> um, they need to do the what's what's in it? No Man's Sky situation where they shut up and work. Yeah, and they they came out with like a whole new game. Yeah, they, they yeah. fixed they fixed, fixed the hell everything, out of that game. and and the game became way better than than the beginning. Yeah, which is crazy. Well, do you think maybe that's a situation, though? And I, I don't necessarily disagree with you on that, but I also feel like with No Man's Sky, that was an example of the developers actually following through with that. And that's not always the case. Like, it's, it's kind of, it's like, it's great for the, the backers that the No Man's Sky team was willing to push through and, and actually fix every problem. Right. But a lot of developers aren't really doing that. I mean, you have, you have uh, developers like Bethesda, where they put out games that that like even today like Skyrim is still a buggy game like I don't know, ah uh, but that's Bethesda though but this is like they they just want money they're releasing the same game Skyrim over and over <laughs> again uh, yeah. uh, by Skyrim <laughs> I'm not Todd <laughs> like yeah. I just got a new toaster and it can technically run Skyrim it's ridiculous everything right. has it they they did put Skyrim on Alexa for some god awful reason. Yeah, I kind of like that for the novelty of it, though. But right. yeah, yeah, it's like point. it's like self-aware, like haha, we're a meme, whatever. Uh, but I mean, it's it, okay. So in, in in the so there are games like uh, Anthem, which was like they made a lot of promises, and then it came out and it was garbage, and then they just like said, all right, we're not going to work on this. No, first they said they were going to fix it, but then they didn't. And then there are games like uh, No Man's Sky, where they actually did it. I think it's like one of those things where you, when you make so many promises when you're like showing off the game and honestly cyberpunk didn't exactly like break any promises it was just like it just doesn't fucking work I don't know it's like it's all there like what what they said is going to be in the game it's there like you can access it but there's just a chance that somebody might be uh, T posing uh, with their uncircumcised penis out which is which is has happened in the game <laughs> So there, there's a lot of like weird shit that happens, um, but I mean, aside from that, it's fun. I there's like also it. a value proposition to it though, as well, because I I picked up the Witcher Three Game of the Year edition, and from what I what I hear, it it didn't have as many of the problems that Cyberpunk did at launch, but still, I mean, you're getting like hundreds and hundreds of hours of of gameplay for twenty bucks, as opposed right. to like you you know you buy the base game at sixty, now I guess it's seventy. Then you buy each DLC pack, you get the season pass. I don't feel like it's paying full price for games is worth it anymore. Yeah, well, I don't know. I, I disagree. I think I think developers work really hard on that shit. Uh, I mean, a- after a while, maybe. I I guess it depends what kind of game. Because if you buy a game that let's let's get rid of updates because they need to fix their game. Right. Right. They need to, let's say let's say Animal Crossing for example. The the game is not done. Uh, but they quote unquote release this updates every um every season. Yeah. But that that that's good for a um, sixty dollar game, you know, yeah. where you're gonna get DLC every now and then for free. That's true. Yeah, I, I don't know. I, I forgot the Animal Crossing doesn't make you pay for that stuff. I don't know. Why I forgot about that. <laughs> it is interesting though. Like it, the thing about free DLC is it's like. It's saying the quiet part out loud, which is that technically these companies don't have to charge for v- DLC. Uh. It's just that they choose to. And then once in a while, a game comes out and loudly screams, we're not going to. 
and you're kind of almost ripping the consumer off if you do. Mm. Although at the same time, I get it why they like if you do the work, you'd you'd expect to get paid for it. So I guess it's kind of tricky. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. know. Yeah, Palo, I'm curious what you've been playing lately. Oh fuck, um, do you guys know Toho? <laughs> no, I've what? heard of it. Yeah. Wait, what game is it? Uh, Toho. It's a bullet hell game. Yeah, 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 I've heard of that. I've been playing that, like, nonstop. Wait, wait, uh, what, what is it? So it's like a, a bullet hell. That's like those games where it's kind of like dungeon crawler-y, but with guns? Um, or is it kind of like Contra? So, so Delplex, a, a bullet hole is, is, is a game, a bullet hole, a bullet, bullet hell hole. game, <laughs> is basically like, it's like, an, it's, like a, it's like a space shooter, except the, the, the main challenge is that there's like hundreds and, and sometimes thousands of bullets on the screen at once, and it's really kind of like it's both a shooter, but it's also kind of like a puzzle game because you have to carefully maneuver between them. Oh, it's kind of like R type. Or it's kind of like Ikaruga, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, I I I've been so obsessed with that game just because of the characters mostly, but you know it's it's fun. It's really fun. Um, putting yourself a challenge on a really hard game. Yeah. Because r- right now I feel, while I'm making my game, I feel most of the games now are way easy, and yeah. I don't like it. It's probably because it's not for, like, w- w- we are k- kind of close to adults. Right. Uh, and let's say back in the day with our S, with our games, the GameCube or the SNS, the, the, the games were easy. They were actually easy. We just were kids. We were learning. Mm-hmm. We play them again, and we realize it's easy. We don't have that difficulty anymore. And I feel the games stay there with the non-difficulty. And as soon as you get the difficulty on other hard games, it's like, oh, oh, damn. Everyone praises it. The, the reward like feels Souls. good. Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, Dark Souls is, is bullshit, but it's still good. <laughs> right. Because <laughs> you have the reward, and, and it feels good having kill a boss that it's was really hard maybe okay I wish before but yeah, yeah go on okay so here's the thing about dark souls okay so i totally get the challenge versus reward thing where, where it's like above average and I, I loved bloodborne i thought it was it thought it was fantastic and i like I, part of me understands it but part of me also thinks that like from software has this problem where it's like it's both difficult and also really fucking janky. And that's I feel like if an, another developer were to be able to take a crack at it or something that it would be a more fun experience because I feel like often I would die in a Souls game because of some bullshit that happened with the camera or right. like hit detection, I don't know. That's my problem with it. What what do you think? Jank equals difficulty. That's what I don't like. <laughs> I don't know. It kind of works sometimes, though. It it kind of works. I don't know. I like okay for for blood Bloodborne, for example. Right, right. Like that that game is so much fun, but holy fuck, it is hard because for one, I'm a dumbass, and like I know I know it's a lot of like repetition where it's like, all right, this dude's gonna he's gonna swing his his little Billy Bob at you, and you gotta like do a tuck and roll and go underneath and then shoot your your uh, thingy at him. And it's like a it's like a mind game, but sometimes like something will be off, right? And whether it's just like oh the AI took a ledge uh, a step off the ledge on accident and kind of clipped through and still managed to hit me, like that's jank that adds to the difficulty that kind of throws you off a little bit. So I, I think sometimes it works because like even though I suck ass at that game, I I it, the gameplay loop is so much fun just because of those weird little things. Mm. Oh, but imagine if. Imagine if that wasn't the case, though. Imagine if it was, <laughs> like, if it didn't have that stupid, dumb bullshit, and it just had the difficulty, and it was ba- entirely based on your skill as a player. Ah. Uh, see, now, 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 you're, now you, got, you got pipe dreams, Lars. <laughs> you can't have, can't have solid mechanics no. to go along with the difficulty. That's too much to ask. No, it doesn't work like that. Yeah, I, I, I don't think the jag- The jaggies are fun, but it's not the difficulty, because... Then cyberpunk is perfect. Keep it like how it is. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so in 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 the case of cyberpunk, right? There are times where it's like I'm trying to think of like an example. Like you're doing a side quest, right? And they throw 
they, they don't really tell you anything in the game. It's like it's like a full blown RPG. So you're just kind of thrown in the shit. And there are literally times where like I was doing this one mission where uh, I don't want to spoil too much. So I don't know like because I'm sure there are plenty of people who haven't played it yet. But I was doing the side quest where basically I was like following this thing right, and I had to stop it from doing something. And the thing was like, oh, there are enemies that are here to kill you. And my game saved. And it reminded me of like Fallout, because Fallout would, would have a lot of bullshit like this, where it would like auto save you in like a specific spot. And you'd have to like find a way to get the fuck away from there, but you couldn't because enemies kept killing you. So I was like stuck in one of those death loops where I would get out of the car and I would die because the enemies just weren't taking damage for some reason. Oh, yeah. So it was just like, like that to me, like, yeah, that's difficulty in a sense because I like dumped all my ammo into them and could not progress. But that's just straight up fucking broken. I couldn't do anything. So that that, that shit pisses me off. Um, so is it unplayable? Why is that, no. Why why is that cool in Fallout but not but why is that not cool in Fallout but then it's like cool in Dark Souls? I feel like it, how does all that right, happen? So all right, so Fallout has a very any any one of those Bethesda games, they have like a very specific kind of jank that most people have kind of learned to maneuver. Um mm-hmm. you just you gotta brute force it, right? Whereas like uh, a game like you know, a FromSoft game. It's like a little bit more, not methodical, but uh, I guess there's more of a loop happening there. You know, it's like, okay, I know I can just die and respawn. I'll be fine. Right. But like Fallout, it's like a, you respawn in the same spot. Shit is exactly the same. There's still a person that watched you steal that apple on accident. Does that make sense? Yeah. Yeah. It's also part of it. It kind of feels like, um, the game brio engine that a lot of the, the, the <laughs> Bethesda titles are, are running on is pretty outdated at this point, and they just right. need to start over. I really hope they do with Elder Scrolls Six. They throw it in the trash, fucking yeah. burn it, get rid of it, throw it away. Uh, yeah, they, all right, let's let's stop talking about video games. I feel like I feel like we've, we've been on this topic a little bit too long. I feel like uh, I don't know if anybody. Duplex. This is a yes. gamer podcast. What are you talking about? That's right. How could I forget? What up, gamers? Welcome to the Gamer Podcast. Today we're going to be talking uh, with Senior Palo about his thoughts on collision and hitboxes. I don't know. Palo, any, do you buy? I don't know gaming terms. Wait, actually, uh, wait, I'm wait, curious. Wait, wait, wait. How much? Uh, how much does a game cost out there? Uh, I guess it depends. It really depends. Okay. Let's say that because we just go ahead. Let's let's say this over there. So you know, a little cheaper over here is really fucking expensive. But you go to <laughs> you Steam. live in Mexico, right? Yeah, yeah. It's like okay, okay. A game over here is a thousand pesos. Let's say a thousand pesos feels feels like one hundred dollars. That's how it feels. It's a lot of money. I don't want to ah. spend it on it. I I want to spend it on food or something else. Yeah, yeah. But you go to Steam. And it's way cheaper. Damn, some games are w- cheaper than on United States. So it's like, mm, oh. sounds better. That's that's it's nice. So do you have to use a VPN to like get that? Wait, what? Like, okay, because I because the the reason why I ask is I used to live in Mexico, and I know that like a lot of stuff. There's like stuff that was really cheap and stuff that was really expensive. But I was there like before the time of like internet gaming. I guess you could, well not before the time of internet, but like before like Steam. Before I was like into video games, I should say. So like when you when you go to buy a game on Steam and you live in Mexico, do you have to like use a VPN to get those prices or is it just No. This Steam right now is like you live on China and they give you China prices. <laughs> <laughs> oh. The the only problem with that is like, let's say I wanna give you a game and the Steam's like, no no no, you gotta give that to your Latin American friends. A little prompt comes up that says that. <laughs> yeah, Ste- Steam has absolutely ruined me. I think in terms of like a consumer of games, because oh, yeah. like the, the 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 price, the barrier to entry is so low, and then at the same time, like they're pretty liberal with what you can return, and mm. and it's like I just I look at the prices when I go to Walmart or something. I see games like for full price. I'm just like, oh, it's just okay, guys. And I I've gotten to the point now where the amount of games that I own on Steam and Epic and, and Ubisoft Launcher and all that is like significantly higher than the amount of games that I will ever, ever play. Like, I think I've played like maybe 1% of my game library at this point, and it's never going to change. Yeah. Need to play them. Listen, 
the best thing you can do is just grab three games and play them one hour one hour every single day that's what i'm doing i pick three games and i'm playing each one one hour a day well not 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 each one but like a week let's say um monday this game tuesday this game wednesday this game oh yeah you- that's actually a really good idea how do you not like because i know a lot of people myself included you when you play a game you like kind of like, i'm just i'm curious how you do that because like I mean, for one, I'm impressed because I feel like if I start playing something, it's hard to play something else because, like, I almost forget how to play, like, the last thing. And then you jump back in, and you're like, oh, fuck, I'm playing it like this game. You know what I mean? Yeah. Things have kind of changed for me recently, though. Like, I, I picked up Ubisoft Connect, which is just, like, kind of like the, the, the Games Pass. And I also got a free Xbox Games Pass with Nitro for Discord. And so what I'll do is... I'll just like kind of jump from game to game. Like recently I picked up Valhalla and uh, Immortals Phoenix Rising for PC uh, for free because they were on Ubisoft Connect. And then like I jumped into Valhalla, played it for two hours, realized I didn't really like it. And I just uninstalled it. And I didn't feel like I got ripped off because all I did was pay for Connect for 15 bucks. And I just jumped right into the next game. I think that might actually be the, the, the way of the future is the subscription. I actually yeah. kind of like it. I don't know. Wait, isn't, isn't that blockbuster? <laughs> yeah, it's just well, literally he, it. Yeah, pretty yeah, much. But, like, but digitally at that point. Well, the, the problem with blockbuster wasn't that the, that the idea was bad. It's just that they did they failed to transition to the virtual rental system. Mm. I miss them, dude. I yeah, miss them so fucking too. much. Yeah. Do they do they sell blockbusters in Mexico? Because I remember when I lived there, they did. Hell no! And there's was, there's um, um there's a Dairy Queen, and next to it is the old Blockbuster. You can just you fucking snick your eye a little bit, and you can see everything. It's like damn. Oh, <laughs> uh, the cool thing I think about Blockbuster is that it really it was like the spectacle mixed with the fact that I was just a kiddo <laughs> at the time. Right. Like it, it was such a blast to just go there and just see all these titles that I, I could possibly rent and then be like, mom, can I get this? <laughs> and it was, it was great. She has to pull you out of the porn section. Wait, your blockbusters had porn sections? No, I was making a joke. Cause you're like, mom, can we rent this? And you're just holding like an adult <laughs> film. <DVD>. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, I did. However, uh, there was a video store in my hometown and I would like sneak, I would like crawl. Cause it, <laughs> the placement was weird. Like, cause you can get underneath, it was like the the cliche, you know, they have like the beads covering it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I would like crawl and I would like sneak in there and I would steal the DVD cases and then I would go and I would like sell them to my friends. Like just the cases, like because there's like, you know, like porn and like titties on the back. Oh, and- oh so you'd rip them off? <laughs> like you wouldn't actually give them the DVD? No, I mean, they, they knew that there was a movie. It was just like the fact they had a case with like a, an exposed uh, pair of breasts on them and they were interested, oh. you know? Yeah. So, that's how I made my hustle. I was a, I was a, a smut peddler. Oh, isn't there a band named the Smut Peddlers? It's like a punk rock band. Oh, I don't know. Is there? I think so. Oh. Anyway, I, if, if, Halo, I feel like we haven't really talked about you at all this episode. <laughs> no, I feel like we should. Just, just the game. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Like, um, it's you know, it's been a hot minute since you you put something out. You put out um the the recent Halloween video in November. Or, you have anything? cool on the pipeline coming up on the channel mm, the the mocky show for christmas oh oh i yeah. was just about to ask yeah i'm actually working on it right now Ooh. yeah I'm, I'm working on the like always the special christmas special and that said i don't have more plans for the moment well you know, I, mean, I, I feel like with your with your style of content it's like one of those things like oh god <laughs> fucking image you just sent. oh there's a little preview nice Oh, well, I need to. I need to get in. I need to look at this. I need to see what this had for breakfast. Oh, gee. <laughs> that's what I like to see. I love that. Oh man, Palo, what program are you using? A Flash. Okay. A fuck animate, yeah. by the way. F- fuck animate so bad. <laughs> wow, how come you've stuck to Flash? Well, you just keep using it. So that's it. <laughs> oh, so you just got used to it over time. You know, if it ain't broke. That that's the thing though. Like, the more I remember, um, using Flash S S S or something like that, the first black um Flash software, 
or program. The thing is, it didn't import um the ad, the the files the the movie the movie files of of the software, and I would get really mad because let's say I wanna I wanna grab um like a drawing or an asset from another animation. I couldn't do it, so I need to go back. And I've uh. seen yeah, and I've seen animators getting a bunch of trouble with animate. So I am like, why would I upgrade my software if this one is perfect and the other ones are having problems with? Right. I feel like that like a lot of Adobe's programs do that. Uh it's just like for their what's it called? Dynamic link or whatever. Because Flash is Adobe, right? I'm not I'm yeah. not imagining that we're okay. Cool. I, just, I don't know why my I had a uh, brain aneurysm. Well, um, I think it used to be Macromedia, but now it's Adobe, and now it's yeah. going away. That's that's the thing, though. Yeah. What happens when they drop the support this year? Nothing. Well, we'll just. I guess you, it, it's it's the support on dating that. It's not like not like oh, it it's damn. It's just, they're just gonna stop working on it. That's it. You can. Okay. You can download it. You can keep using it for your different, your favorite sites, but they're just gonna stop working on it. That's it. Okay. Are, are the conversion tools for that pretty? Like, are they good to, to be able to upload this on like on YouTube or something? Yeah, I, I've been using. There's one called Swivel made by Newgrounds. Oh, uh, okay. And and I've been using that for like a long time. Well, that's awesome. Newgrounds is interesting to me because it, if it's one of those websites that I feel like. Most other websites like that would have been lost to the sands of time, but Newgrounds has really stood the test of time. Yeah, I agree. I mean, Newgrounds is one of those things, it's like so, it's so embedded in our, in our culture, like on, mm -hmm. just as far as like digital media goes, it's like a good majority of us, especially a lot of people like around our age and, you know, younger, even older, I feel like, you know, most of us, we, we grew up with like flash animations, but like that was kind of like our introduction to the the world wide web and i don't I just, it's like one of those it's like you have like a really popular tv show or something right you know it, and it's something that has stood the test of time it's been around for for fucking decades you you always like you look at it fondly and, and typically you know people know that so they keep it going they do reboots they do uh you know they they, they keep it relevant but i feel like newgrounds itself has done such a good job and it knows what it is. It knows it's like a fantastic website. And it's just kind of like stuck around. I don't know. Because like when I did my Newgrounds video, I was like really surprised to see that it still, you know, it still had so much support. I'm not going to lie. That made my, uh, to, to do a quick callback, that made my pee, -pee go boing. <laughs> <laughs> Here's the thing about Newgrounds. Like, um, I remember there was one point where it was a little bit silent, but now it has like, I I don't know how to say it, but it, it came out again. It's it got more popularity and stuff. Yeah, and I'm I'm really happy about it. Fuck, and you have like YouTube where you you have a really big community of YouTube, and the animation community is like really hidden because you have all this popular, um, quote unquote, way better channels. <laughs> And on Newgrounds, you have just a tiny community that, right. it, and and here's the thing, Tom Fulp supports everyone. Yeah. He tries to put everyone on the front page, um, try to share their stuff any way he can. YouTube doesn't do that. YouTube is like, oh, look, here's some mangas trending, and that's it. Yeah. No, totally. I I think Tom Fulp's support is really what speaks. It really speaks volumes about the platform as a whole. Yeah, that I mean, that I believe that's why like it's still going. It doesn't feel like plastic. Right. That, that's a good way of putting it. it. Doesn't feel plastic. I like that. I'm hearing though, like like I I I watched a, a critical video pretty recently. I think it was last week where apparently he's a critical had some video insider. or a critical video. He's been talking to Susan. Which how you how to I, I, not even a try, and like apparently they're very aware of the problems on the website right now. And th like, joking aside, they actually are trying to work on some solutions to some of the major issues. You like you, you don't mean critical? Or, or, or yeah, what? <laughs> yeah. I critical made that, not Tom Fulp. 
No, <laughs> I'm not talking about Tom Fulp. I, I well, he said critical, and I was making a joke if he meant critical oh. or critical. Uh, oh, okay, okay, I got confused. Go on. <laughs> <laughs> no, so apparently they're going to start letting people edit videos like that have already been published and stuff to to be able to get rid of offensive or violating content, and they're trying to take some steps towards it to like transparency on the platform. So, like at least I guess they're starting to try. I don't know. Yeah, but I don't know. Let's hope it happens. I'm gonna tell you that. Let's hope it happens, cause the fuck if it didn't happen before, why it would happen after? <laughs> Probably yeah. because they are aware of how they fucked up and how bad the site might be doing. But either way, imagine me, not even a million, like probably a billion. That not not a billion. Let's say let's say ten million, twenty million content creators that they need to read mm. and support and try to contact. Yeah. No, I, I see what you're saying. Because YouTube isn't as niche as something like Newgrounds where, you know, like like you said earlier, Newgrounds is, is more of its own community as opposed to just this, like, open, like, anybody could upload, like, you know, literally anything they want. Like, me taking a shit on the subway and upload it to YouTube that's there. And, like, you know, YouTube, it's... It's owned by fucking Google, right? And I feel like uh, it, when you're a company that, that's that big, people on the ground floor start to look a little bit more like ants, right? Because you're not yeah. directly communicating with them. I mean, I know that Critical mentioned this in his video, but like to even get a hold of YouTube, if you have an issue, if, if your channel is like wrongfully taken down or if you have like some weird fucking thing happen... You can't even contact them on the, on the platform itself. You have to go to another platform, Twitter, and hit them up. Yeah, like that's that's yeah. so weird to me. That yeah, that I mean, I I I can't argue with that because I I mean, fucking Duplex, you you know this firsthand that we experienced this with our channel, where we 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 launched it fairly recently and and we got to the the monetization threshold and then they they were just like, oh, you already have an AdSense account, um. Uh, you have to fix this by and then like I couldn't like there was nothing I could do with the automated options and I had to like talk to John Swan on on Twitter and eventually like try to like manually raise a support ticket by tagging them on a post on Twitter which eventually did work but it was a very backwards way of getting a problem solved yeah and once I that's the thing once I got in contact with them they were great they were actually like really nice and very helpful and very fast in fixing the problem, but just getting in touch with them was the issue. Right. It's just the extra steps of actually getting there. Yeah, there should be a button on the website that that like initiates a support ticket of some sort. Every other website has this. Yeah. Yeah. The only thing that worries me though is like, do you remember when they were outsourcing uh they're outsourcing like people to do reviews for videos that go up on YouTube and they were like outsourcing it to countries that had like like crazy like views on like if, if you were to make a video about gay people and the, the person reviewing your video was based in a country that oh is, yeah th then they would demonetize it because the guy the the guy or person who's living in that country doesn't like gay people so your video has to suffer because of some random fucks views like that was weird to me like the, i feel like there's no like, it's not consistent, you know what I mean? Right. But, like, that just speaks to, like, the sheer volume of, you know, stuff they have to deal with. Like, the amount of hours that are just being uploaded into this, this you know, cyberspace that they've created. So, I don't know. I don't know how they could possibly fix it, to be honest. Yeah, that that that's my main problem. Like, I want to be proven wrong that... I, I Because I don't believe they can do it, because there is a lot of people. It's... Fuck... Imagine this. There is a there's a line, there's a really big line of people with tickets because they have problems with YouTube, and YouTube needs to check every single one of them. And then you have the popular people, mm. <laughs> me. No, no, <laughs> <laughs> no. Uh, You're you not wrong. Big. You you have big people. I don't even consider myself popular. Uh, you have big people that are like, oh, YouTube, I have this problem. Oh, yeah, sure, let me do it right now. It's like, it's first of all, it's unfair, and second of all, it's like, why do I need to wait? Let, let's say you, Doplex, why you need to wait an 
I wouldn't. Yeah. Why why do you need to take my problems fast and not yours? That's the main problem. And there's a lot of people that need to solve their problem. Yeah, no, totally. And to add to your point, that that is a great point. But I think in recent years, so you have the line, then you have the line for popular people, and now you have the line for celebrities. Because <laughs> you got people like mm-hmm. yeah. Jack Black, Will Smith, fucking Ellen DeGeneres, uh, uh, the other, the two Jimmies, the five Jimmies, Jimmy, fucking all the Jimmies, they're all in line. And naturally they're going to serve them first because Coca-Cola likes them, you know? So now even the big people have, have somebody, somebody above them. Well, yeah, and that's not even, like, the biggest problem. Um, I, I've been thinking, how would YouTube, for example, the demonetization problems, I believe instead of, in, in, instead of let, let's say, let's say the, the, the video gets demonetized, instead of sending in as a review, just, just do it automatically. Why uh, someone needs to press the button of request review? Why? <laughs> oh, so Just you put the incentive. Button. You put the incentive in front of people for like if they're going to be reporting it that that uh, it would automatically be reviewed. So it, like it would discourage people from reporting, like being over reporting of stuff. Is what you're saying? Uh, I, no, it's more like there is certain stuff that are useless to do. Like, if you have monetization, of course you want to fucking request the, the thing. Of course. You, you want to yeah, request yeah, yeah, the review. Yeah. It, it, who cares if the video is really bad and sweary and, like, all the bad stuff? You will request it. Oof. Yeah. And that's not even my main problem. The bot should say to the, to the workers, the, the YouTube people, hey, there's a problem on this second. No, this entire video has a problem. That way, oh. they can work fast. I don't know how it is. I, they take a lot of time to review videos, so I bet they need to check all the video, or at least a little bit of it. Yeah, but I also think that they could do it in reverse, right? So, like, instead of automatically demonetizing shit, like, for, for like, a big creator uh, like you, who, who makes, I guess, more... Obviously, it's it's edgier content than you know. You're not making like uh, uh, you're not making like beauty vlogs or anything. You know, your your content is definitely out there compared to what YouTube likes. I think it shouldn't be automatically demonetized. Instead, it should be automatically monetized unless enough people have an issue with it. Right? Let's say enough people are just like, oh, this video hurt my feelings. Holy shit! Then they could report it. But not like not like a report, not like a flag, nothing like that. Just like a report to have somebody look at it and be like, okay, this is clearly against this rule in this book. I feel like that way it would be more effective as opposed to like automatically fucking a creator over out of like however many dollars in AdSense. And then, you know, like and then figuring it out down the road after you've already lost that money. Yes, but that's why the adpocalypse happened. Right. Where uh. a video with a certain word um, got m- monetized by someone <laughs> who knows if it was some music stuff or something. It was monetized and and the news outlet said, oh, oh, bad video right here. And it was demonetized r- really quick. Yeah. That, uh. Well, yeah. Wait, it's, that's always uh, that's always been a weird situation, though, because I, I feel like. Like uh, it, it's different than it is with TV, where I I don't I don't associate I don't associate a YouTube video with what's being advertised on it, like at all, because like that's just there's no way they can match those two things together <laughs> realistically. So, I'm watching this video on how to breastfeed, and you give me an ad for Coors Light. <laughs> I will never drink Coors Light again. That's not people aren't making those associations. I don't right. know. It's just the well, whole system's just weird, and it's bloated, and it's fucked, and it's just. Uh, you you know what's it's the a- other problem? Um, every time you upload a video, you get the green sign, and you know that's perfect. Um, let's say yeah. it's unlisted, you need to wait until it gets demonetized. But as soon as you put it, let's say on Premiere, it gets demonetized so quickly. It's like the bot already checked it. Why you? Why don't you demonetize it? 
Oh. Yeah, I, I don't know. Yeah, it does that with it does that with unlisted too for some reason. I, I always need to put it on premiere and let's say I need to people need to wait until one week or three days just because that main reason. Yeah. I feel like I feel like if you're a big enough creator, you should just have like a an assistant who just works for YouTube. <laughs> just like you know, like imagine if they just assigned everybody like a guy or a girl. It would just be like Hey Brenda, this video saying <laughs> this video saying I said a word that I didn't say, and then she just like pulls the the button out of her asshole and just presses it, and your video is good to go. That'd be cool. That, Not realistic at all, but cool. Actually, right. uh, I I guess that exists. I don't know. At one point, I had it, but she disappeared. It's like oh. I, I don't I don't know if it exists anymore. <laughs> She was eating Wait, so by you had Susan. a Brenda, but not anymore? Yeah, I, I remember I had a Brenda, and she's like, she will ask me, what's the problem? Um, Let's say, oh, how your channel is doing? You have feedback. What? And, but no, yeah, but no, not anymore. I don't know what happened. I don't know if I did something bad. <laughs> I probably did. I- <laughs> <laughs> That's so weird. So like they rolled out the red carpet for you, not, but then it's just it's just gone. Again, I don't know if I still have it. Probably I have a a, a Brenda second or <laughs> you're supposed some to feed her. Brand. I think that's what happened. She yeah. was in your closet. <laughs> <laughs> you were yeah. supposed to be putting crickets under the under the door so she could feed. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. I I don't know if I still have my Brendas, but <laughs> but yeah, like before I had it, it was great. Yeah, that's it. That's it. I, I guess because I'm um, a million one, or I don't fucking know. Probably YouTube said, you know what? Stop treating one million people. Get uh, treat ten million people, and that's uh, it. I because see. there's a, there's a lot of channels with one million. It's I will not say it's easy. I would say um, some people know how to get a mil- get a million fast, thanks to kids. Right. Right. That is true. Like, Although or, I feel like they're they are taking the right step in like preventing kids from like just automatically like you know the whole like uh like videos will just play and then like it just like kind of like fucks up the algorithm for like those type of creators and they just like blow up out of nowhere. No, no, no. I wish. Trust me, I wish. Um, I have a kid, my nephew, mm-hmm. and he he likes YouTube. He adores it. I hate right. it. I hate, I hate that he watches YouTube. <laughs> at one point, he reaches a guy that not only swears, but shares like bad stuff that a kid should oh, really? watch. Yeah. And I need to deactivate it. They deactivate it. That, that whole thing about YouTube hiding bad people. And yeah. that shouldn't be it. It, sh- it should... Um, there should be a button that is like, okay, I want this system to have youtube kids yeah and all those videos with youngsters can go right over there i like that and just separate those two communities yeah sadly we have the kids community on the normal community and it doesn't make sense for me channels that make content for kids are just do it it's like money laundry (laughs) for me (laughs) It probably is too. That's that's the funny thing about it. I always had this thought. I always had this thought that I feel like YouTube should kind of do this thing. Like think about it like a think of YouTube as like a Neapolitan, like a bucket of Neapolitan ice cream, right? You yeah. got three different flavors all in one, but you can separate them. So you have one that's uh, YouTube Kids, right? All that's being played there is like uh, you got your fucking your Peppa Pigs. You got your uh, David Dobrik, Ryan's toy reviews, your Ryan's toy reviews, whatever, and then you know they they can all stay over there, right? You know the, the parents can control it. You can't download YouTube. You can download YouTube Junior or whatever the hell they want to call it. And then in the middle you have YouTube, right? So it's just like run of the mill shit. You have your educational videos. You have your uh, you know those like random videos that get recommended to you out of nowhere. But then you have YouTube Adult, and I'm not talking porn. I'm talking monetizable <laughs> videos with like edgier style of comedy that 
it's in this like when if you're watching something there it's a given that it's going to be there's going to be swear words you know the ads could be fucking beer or whatever the hell like i feel like it should just ha like almost have its own section i feel like that would just like clear so much shit up it would be like everything would be fine you know it, like everybody knows wh what they want to watch they know where to go you know there's no uh confusion as to like oh how did this get here let's demonetize it i agree there must be a reason why they don't i'll tell you why i i know the reason think think like oh. um Think like a company. You just want money. Fuck everyone. Right. I just need my money. That's it. Do whatever you want. Just do, I want my money. That's it. That's how a company thinks. Right. They don't care. Now, with YouTube situation, um, you know how society is right now. Because we live in a society, as we know. <laughs> <laughs> um, but th there is people that uh, don't like certain kinds of jokes dark jokes or dumb jo jokes jokes certain bad right. jokes bad yep. edgy jokes right um of course those people are going to talk about it and they're going to talk to the the coca-cola kellogg's and disney and all those advertisement people and they're going to say i i am not like that i'm not going to put money on, money on this company for that main reason and right. I'm going to save that money. And the YouTube, what they need to do is like, fuck, now we're going to make it cheaper so they can come back. Right. And they lose money. So, so here's, here's my problem with that. Yeah. I think, okay, so what I'm confused about when it comes to like that is, is it the advertisers that are afraid of losing money or is it YouTube? Because realistically, YouTube, the only monetary gain they actually get from that is from the advertisers. And it's just yeah. like the person watching it and it's like oh i i'm never going to eat uh, five gum again because it played next to a video about uh, uh penguins g getting killed chat you are not going to believe this uh people don't care no one can okay 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 you see like let's say nike does something bad that certain people don't like and they're like oh, i'm going to burn my nike shoes <laughs> it's not a lot of people Right, because there is no, there's not idiots that are like, oh, I'm gonna burn my really expensive shoe. Hell no, <laughs> yeah. hell no. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna stop buying food because this video. No, hell no. That that doesn't happen. Right. Uh, the thing that companies want to do, let's say Disney, it's just make it cheaper for themselves. If they pull out of YouTube just because. Someone made a bad, a bad video and their advertisement appear on that video. They're going to say they're going to point to YouTube and say, you know what? I'm not going to be there because I am not like that. And uh. then, yeah. And then YouTube needs to bargain. Oh, please come back. Uh, <laughs> we will make it cheaper for you. The, the advertisement is going to be cheaper. Oh, and then Disney said, OK, that's fine. Then it, they something happens. Something always happens on YouTube. And they, they, they are like, no, I'm leaving. But they always come back. They do. Because <laughs> they, they do don't care. Back. They don't <laughs> care about the video. They don't care about the bad stuff. They just want money. That's it. Yeah. And the worst part is like, let's say, quote unquote, they want to look good. If YouTube has a bad part, they will not put, they will not put money on there unless it's cheaper for them. Right. Man. That's uh, yeah. what, what's what's the word for that? That's uh, not not capitalism, monopoly. Monopoly, yeah. Yeah, is that well? Is that what it is? Monopoly. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. right. Something like that. Right. By the way, we are on YouTube now, so go ahead and subscribe to our YouTube channel. <laughs> That's YouTube.com/slash/c/slash/the-first-podcast. I we're kind of running low on time here. I do want to give the chance for one person to give one good live question, and that's going to be Simi Seer today. And I'm going to unmute him real quick. Go ahead, bud. Hello. Hello. Uh, Hello. Uh, my name is Simis here. You can just call me Zach. Cause that's my name. Uh, I'm just curious, Pelo, uh, if you had unlimited time and an unlimited budget uh, to make a project, it could be a cartoon, it could be a game, it could be anything, what would you want to make? Uh, all the things that I've been doing, that's it. All the things that I've been doing, even if it's mocky, it doesn't have animation, it's dumb, 
I will still do it because it's fun. That's it. It's oh, fun. Yeah. yeah. So it's not about the money. It's about the love of the game, the love of the love of the craft. Yeah, hell no. If I Heck would yeah. do some money stuff, I'd be doing kid stuff. Oh, oh, guys, how you doing? Yeah, let's put milk <laughs> on this shit. I'd watch that. <laughs> We're about to pour some slime on my brother. <laughs> yeah, I'd exactly. Watch, I'd watch the hell out of that. Pillow's those kind of videos get millions. I've seen it with my own eyes, and I'm like, wow, what and why? If I want money, well, hell yeah, I'm gonna do that. <laughs> All right, I uh, I, res- I respect the integrity. No, yeah. me so. too. It honestly it shows like through the consistency of your work, right? Like everything you've you've made yeah. is just like it's all very, like you always know what you're getting, and I think that is like something that's very admirable. I'd say like especially like a creator of your size, like to just have this this very stylistic. Uh, brand that's just like you're you you haven't changed it for the sake of you know whatever the hell um so big ups to the whole island as as oh. uh, chet hanks would say oh no i changed right. it but <laughs> it's, it's it's good it's just still the same thing but i changed it it was well, you way know what darker I mean. before yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah but it, it's still i think he's talking about conforming to a brand yeah like, like you're not like like you said, you're not like, hey guys, today we're gonna be talking about the new Batmobile from Mattel. Yeah, uh, well that's know. the thing though. Um, I didn't start a YouTube as I didn't start. Let's say my name. I my name is not a brand. My name is just a nickname. That's it. Yeah, I am. Yeah. N- I am not making some kind of a brand or some company shit. Or, or no, I just want to have fun. That's it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Bello LLC. <laughs> It's not too late. Start selling condoms. By the way, uh, before we, before we, uh, I just smacked my mic. Oh, great. God damn it. Before we, before we get to the end of this comedy of errors, I'm going to give the, I'm going to give the fans what they want. Can you do a scream and a table smack? I can do the table smack. I can do the scream. I, I got sick not long time ago. Oh no. All right. They, um, you know, ulcers, right? Yeah. Yeah. You know the you blend you blend blend the little bell in the mouth. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Okay, okay. Imagine an ulcer behind that shit. Oh, so it, like hurts to talk. Ouch. It, it, talking, it, it's normal. But let's say if I scream, hair, hair, air comes out of it. Really strong, really big air ass air, it. and it just hits, and it's like ah. <laughs> Oh, well, we obviously we don't want you to damage your your uh, throat. We need no, that for I need future to content. I need to record for Moki. I fucked up on the line. <laughs> oh. Oh. Well, uh, well, let's see. What's what's a good... Uh, can you just say it's spooky time? Yeah, but spooky you don't month? want the table to make? You don't want to... Ta- like, uh, I, I, it, oh, yeah. No, 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 no. Yeah. yeah, the, yeah, the, yeah the, was, the, I feel smack. like if, if it doesn't happen, it, people are going to be disappointed. Oh well, that that's good for me. I can be disappointed. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> okay, wait, wait. Give me a second. Give me a second. All right. <laughs> All right. That was for you guys. <laughs> oh man, that came through okay. great. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> oh my God. All right, oh, Halo. As always, it's a pleasure. I actually appreciate it. I know this episode started out like dicks and cum and, and like <laughs> body parts and limbs but i actually really, really appreciated a slightly more serious talk with you this time and uh definitely glad to have you back on thanks for coming on man nah, thank you for inviting me yeah thank you and, and even though it's my first time uh chatting with you you are a delight my friend and uh, uh it's it's an honor do. it's a thank pleasure so and an much. honor to finally speak with you uh i love your i love your content it's some of the best on youtube I say that with my whole chest. Oh, thank you. <laughs> that, that means a lot. That, that, that means a lot, seriously. Well, it's it's the truth, my friend. I feel like people can probably figure this out otherwise, but it's youtube.com slash Payla, or what's the URL? Um, yeah, that, well, the URL is one, two, three, pen there. <laughs> oh, oh, right, right, right. right. Yeah. Callback. Yeah, well. um. So, guys, go to uno, dos, tres, pendejos. If you want to find... Palo's delightful body of work. It's good. If you're a All headphone user, be warned. Yeah. I'll just put it that way. His his channel oh. is just one big <laughs> headphone warning. 
I feel like if, if you're watching <laughs> one of his videos, you kind of just expect it. If you've been watching him long enough, then chances are it probably doesn't even phase you anymore. You've built up that tolerance yeah. to your, in your ears. Or you're just deaf at this point. <laughs> listen, listen before it ends. The only reason I, I love to crack it up so much is not because loud funny. It's because I want to watch videos on my phone that I can fucking hear. I oh. hate, I hate that I put all the volume and I don't hear shit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, you could definitely hear your videos. My neighbors could probably hear definitely your videos. Can. <laughs> yeah, people in space could hear the video. <laughs> all right. Uh, well, thank okay. you. Thank you for coming on. We appreciate you. Yeah, thanks to you. No problem. By the way, I'm going to put this in the chat. Like I said before, youtube.com slash C slash the first podcast. If you want to subscribe, you don't need really to helps see. the show. I know, I, I, but I like the C. All right. I like the C. Okay. I don't know. There's something about it, man. And then, by the way, guys, got a couple of new patrons last night during the bonus episode. Really appreciate you guys coming out. Patreon.com slash T1 podcast has bonus episodes of the podcast. Oh. Patron only chats a funny role on the Discord. Oh. Early release privileges oh. to episodes like this one. And more. Go to patreon.com slash t1podcast. Doplex, can you take us out? Oh, please. <laughs> like with a gun? No, no, I mean, like, can you give us, like, a little, like, la <laughs> last spiel? Like, hey, thanks for tuning in. Spiel. Okay. All right, spiel. Um, all right. Uh, let's see. All right. Uh, if you made it this far, then uh, chances are you got you got a, a strong uh, will to, to persevere through the... Uh, uh, <laughs> hey. You you look good. You've been working out. You're 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 looking good. You're looking strong. You're looking nice and strong. You got that that you got that that devilish good smile. You're looking strong. Uh, okay, I'm gonna stop. <laughs> <laughs>